Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Friday, December 17th, 2010, and I'm Darko. Welcome to part two of this War on Terror, Liberty of Sovereignty news segment. This will be the last uh, news video for today for me. And uh, we left off with this article about uh, Obama claiming sympathy for Iranian victims without mentioning that the U.S. funded their killers. And it goes down here. And uh, it says here, suicide bombers killed 39 people during a Shiite religious ceremony in Iran this week. The terrorist group uh, Jandala has taken responsibility, saying that the attack was retaliation for the Iranian government's execution of their leader last summer. And uh, you can go in here and you can check, man. They have a nice little uh, video in here, and then they have some information um, that you can learn a little bit more about uh, how the U.S. funds their opposition. It says here, Iran's supreme leader blames West for bombing. I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, next one up, CIA chief pulled from Pakistan. Drones killed 54 from the AP. It says here, the CIA yanked its top spy out of Pakistan after his cover was blown, I'm sorry, and his life threatened. And 54 suspected militants were killed in a U.S. drone missile attack Friday in stark new signs of the troubled relationship between mistrustful allies locked in a war on terrorist groups. I think these people are... Uh, mistrustful because they're they're uh you know i've covered this in other videos you know the u.s and the west they're killing children they're killing women and they're killing farmers innocent farmers and these people just want them out of their country it's not that they mistrust them it's that they hate their guts and they want them to leave and um you know you read this and you're like oh the cia yanked his top spy out of pakistan after his cover was blown actually i believe he's being sued so let's just go to this propaganda piece the cia chief in pakistan leaves after drone trial blows his cover oh so we get to learn a little bit more you see how whitewashed the u.s media is man you know if you just turn on the tv or you just read the regular newspaper you are going to be as blind as a bat actually i think I've, there's a quote for this i don't know who said it maybe it was benjamin franklin or thomas jefferson but it's actually better to not pay attention to any of the news than to read the, the you know the straight up news as it is you'll actually be less informed if you read the regular newspaper and this type of stuff without having you know the eyes and, and the brain to filter it you will be less informed misinformed disinformed whatever the hell you want to call it but it says jonathan banks uh, station chief in islamabad back in the u.s after calls for him to be charged with murder over a drone attack there's been a lot of protests in pakistan and uh I believe it was Pakistan, says the CIA has pulled its station chief from Islamabad, one of America's most important spy posts, after his cover was blown in a legal action brought by victims of U.S. drone attacks in the tribal belt. The officer named in Pakistan as Jonathan Banks left the country yesterday after a tribesman publicly accused him of being responsible for the death of his brother and, a, uh, and son in a CIA drone strike in December 2009. Kareem Khan, a journalist from North Waziristan, called for Banks to be charged with murder and executed. So it said here, in a rare move, the CIA called Banks home yesterday, citing, quote, security concerns. Oh, see, oh, we were, we were concerned about security <laughs> and saying he had received death threats from Washington officials. Uh, oh, he would receive death threats, Washington officials told AP. So, and he was fleeing for possible persecution. But, you know, you read this crap, dude, and it's like, it doesn't even tell you that. <laughs> you know, it's so ridiculous. <laughs> It's like, just tell the damn truth already. Man, I think people are just so sick of being lied to. I don't blame them. Obama wants longer stay in Afghanistan. So it says here, uh, U.S. President Barry Satori is using the recent White House review of Afghan war strategy to prolong the presence of the U.S.-led troops in the war-ravaged country, experts say. And uh, I just mentioned this in the last video, so it pretty much confirms what I was saying. At this point, I think the Obama administration is using this particular report to keep troops on the ground at, at least to 2014. And, um, yeah, let's see here. We're going to move on. Unmanned Mexican drone crashes near El Paso, Texas, a remote-controlled drone operated by the Mexican government crashed in the United States. Uh, near El Paso, Texas this week, the U.S. Customs and Border Protection Agency confirms. Um, I wonder if it was spying, a, a Mexican uh, a drone spying in America. Well, 
but anyways, uh, I'm sure it'll be, you know, for the drug war. So everything's good. Everything's kosher. Nothing's wrong. Everything's okay, guys. Go back to sleep. Israeli drone violates Lebanon airspace and Israeli reconnaissance aircraft has violated Lebanese airspace and flown over parts of the country in defiance of a UN Security Council resolution. So unauthorized U.S. strikes kill 26 Pakistanis for non-U.S. sanctioned U.S. drone strikes have uh, claimed the lives of at least 26 people in northwestern Pakistan and make public uh, protest unauthorized airstrikes took place in the uh, Khaibar Agency tribal region on Friday. It's the second consecutive day the U.S. drones target the same region. On Thursday, the U.S. air raid claimed the lives of seven people when a missile hit a vehicle in the uh, drain area of Tyra Valley in Pakistan's Khyber uh, Pakhtunkhwa province. Wow, that's a hard word to pronounce. The air attacks have intensified since U.S. President Barrow Satori took office in 2009. So has the uh, uh, the death toll. The fatalities uh, have also been on record this year, record high. Uh, as a, a report just stated before, CIA top spy flees Pakistan over lawsuits. So here, wow, that's pretty clear cut. That's what's going on. U.S. Central Intelligence Agency has been forced to call back its top spy in Pakistan after he was accused of killing civilians in unauthorized drone attacks. Italy appeals court ups U.S. sentences in CIA trial. It says here from the AP, an Italian appeal, appeals court on Wednesday increased the sentences against 23 Americans convicted in the kidnapping of an Egyptian terror suspect involved in the CIA's Extraordinary Renditions Program. So you can, uh, you can check this. I'll finish up. In upholding the convictions, the court added one year to the eight-year term handed down to former Milan CIA station chief Robert Seldon Lady and two years on to the five-year terms given to the 22 other Americans convicted along with him, defense lawyers said. And uh, we're going to move on. U.S. pilots face more jail in Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic, uh, from the AP again, and a Dominican uh, prosecutor told a court Thursday that authorities want to keep holding two U.S. cargo pilots whose supporters say were inadvertently caught up in an apparent drug smuggling operation. So, next up, FBI Homeland Security issues holiday threat to law enforcement. So even say there's even though the government will tell you Homeland Security and all that will say oh there's we don't actually have a specific threat we're just gonna ramp up the fear button the fear uh, factor get you all nice and scared so that we can legitimize the poking prodding molesting and treating uh, uh, our slaves well like slaves. U.S. officials say they have no specific and credible information about planned terror attacks in the United States. And why was that? Because they carry out the uh, terrorist attacks. But they have issued an intelligence bulletin to state and law local law enforcement warning terrorists could target large crowds at holiday gatherings. Well, let's see. You've been putting propaganda up for the past two months about Christmas bombers, including the Christmas bomber uh, last year. So I think everybody's kind of focused on Christmas and then there being a false flag government sponsored terrorist attack. So you do that, you assholes. You do this on Christmas. Be rest assured there's going to be people like me that are going to call your ass out. Because you guys are becoming so sloppy and so um, desperate to create this, this threat that just isn't there. So that you can, like I said, so that you can legitimize all the body scanners, all the groping, all the now, now on uh, subways that can go through any bag that they want. You know, and uh, it's just getting ridiculous. So they need to do all this. They have to create these terrorists like they did with the uh, Christmas tree uh, bomber from Oregon. They have to groom them like they did in Sweden. That one, they have to groom them, these intelligence agencies, to create these people who are normally just college students and uh, had, uh, you know, darker skin um, and weren't really radicalized. They have to radicalize them and then set them up with fake bombs. It's it's such a joke. And I hope that even the sheeple are, are starting to see it. U.S. tracking terror threats during holidays. Authorities say no evidence of specific plots aimed at the U.S. Counterterrorism officials are tracking threats to the U.S. and Europe from al CIA and affiliated groups during the holiday season, authorities said. They have not yet seen evidence of specific plots. TSA, TSA, full body scanner coming to Toledo Express. So I'm sure... Uh, 
uh, people out there in Ohio are just, you know, have been waiting for these suckers to come in. I bet they can sleep, uh, you know, sleep well tonight. Uh, TSA Choir has Holiday Spirit down pat at LAX. So while everybody is, you know, really just, they're really kind of ticked off about going to the airport now because they know it's coming, they do this. Um, well, they don't do that. So as in case you missed the story in this uh, morning's newspaper, uh, it says here travelers passing through LA International Airport are finding that security officers officers are having more than a scan or pat down for them this holiday season. They're offering musical entertainment too. The LAX uh, TSA Choir, a group of 17 singers and musicians, all of them officers of the uh, Transportation Security Administration, have been surprising passengers with performances of holiday music and other tunes in the midst of one of the nation's busiest airports. So, um, yeah, you can say, wow, it's crazy, and I'll say it's a PSYOP. Washington Subway, oh, you know what I was going to say, too, that's also another way, another indicator that you're living in the Fourth Reich, that the Nazis never really lost world, in World War II. So, this is, I, honestly, guys, this is how I would see Nazi Germany right now in 2010 if they didn't lose. They would have, because they would have Christmas caroler, carolers, uh, you know, like SS officers uh, seeing Christmas caroler, uh, Christmas carols, sorry, as they're, uh, you know, patting down people and then, uh, you know, uh, uh, treating everybody like terrorist suspects. Next up, Washington Subway Police to begin random bag checks. And uh, officers will start random bag inspections of the sprawling Washington subway system, the Metro Police said, a week after a man was arrested for making bomb threats to the rail system. And that was all phony and fake, too, right? I covered that recently. Trash collectors to serve as eyes and ears in the street for police. It says waste management workers are out and about when almost everyone else is not, except someone who might be up to no good. A former FBI agent recently trained at all waste management drivers, helpers, and technicians in Rensselaer and Albany counties to act as a mobile community watch. And guys, this, there's something called TLOs, terrorism liaison officers. These are people that work for municipalities and possibly even telecommunication companies such as Verizon or, or Comcast. And uh, they can come in your house and spy on you and report you. Some of them are actually trained to do it. So uh, this is this is a part of our reality. U.S. Air Force blocks New York Times Guardian over WikiLeaks. U.S. Air Force has blocked access for computers on its network to New York Times and the Guardian, at least 23 other websites carrying WikiLeaks documents. So this was the whole point, I think, of WikiLeaks was basically to bring in censorship. And uh, that's problem reaction solution. LA dry run shows urban nuke attack a survivable event. So come check this out. Just like that show, uh, show uh, Jericho, great TV series, talks about false flag government sponsored terrorist attack where the government basically and a few individuals carried out nuclear attacks on uh, American soil. And then they switched governments. And uh, the other one, the new one, was even worse. Uh, than the old one. So here we go. Minority Report, NYPD implements iris scan technology. You can check that out. The link will be posted like all the other ones. Uh, 1,000 detained in Russia to prevent ethnic cleansing. Uh, at least 20 killed in Ivory Coast clashes. A lot going on down there over the elections because, you know, they say they were rigged in fraud. In Rome, protesters clash with police. Greece on ninth strunk strike against pay cut. Greek protests cripple transportation. EU workers brace for more strikes. Next up, British peers approve tuition fee rises. So after all that protesting, guys, see, it didn't do squat, did it? Nothing. Just like the Afghan war, it, what Gates said, nothing. They don't give a shit about what you think or what you say, what you vote, what you protest. The agenda keeps moving forward. Police mall banning all UK protests. So see, as a result, now that gives them the uh, the excuse to let's just ban all protests. Ha <laughs> ha, that's a good idea. Oh ho ho. Kettling breaches human rights. UK lawyers, and talking about kettling, British law, uh, lawyers acting for five of a thousand protesters demonstrating against tuition fees rises last week have launched a legal challenge against the police tactic of, of uh, kettling protesters. Uh, plain clothes police were in protests. This verifies exactly what I just said uh, before about police uh, 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 mixing themselves with the protesters and causing uh, havoc. Israel attacks South African lawmakers. U.S. Embassy staffers uh, attacked in Yemen. U.S. arrest over 135 anti-war pro uh, protesters. 
uh, UN Mall's internet regulation options. Schoolboy to be arrested over protesting in North Korea warns South Korea to stop live fire drills. Thank you.